Hi, my name is Victor Love. I'm a lead application engineer for Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories, and today I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to set up your SEL 735 meter for MV90 communications. First, we'll begin by clicking on the MV90 master file icon, and we're going to set up a new master file, and I'm going to go to the edit button, select new customer, and I'm going to call this for today's demonstration, demo 735. And I've got four channels in this meter, so I'm going to select four, click OK. Now I've begun my master file setup. The first thing I'm going to do is click save. The call answer mode, I'm going to select an answer mode. This tells us that our meter will talk to us at any time we, we desire. And I've got five minute intervals in the meter, so I'm going to select 12 for my number of intervals. Next I'm going to go down to the date initialize field and select today's date and time. And I'm going to select that for the last stop time read as well. This gives MV90 a bookmark, if you will, to go back to a certain point, which would be today's date and time, and to read from that point forward each time the read is performed. Now I'm going to go to the More tab, and I'm going to select my TIM file. This is the translator interface module that it communicates between the meter and MV90, and I'm going to select 735A. The A simply stands for ASCII, or Human Readable Language. The next thing on my TIM config file for my Ethernet communications, I'm going to select TCP. Now I'm going to go to the communication tab, and this is some of the data I've already gotten out of our meter, which is our IP address. I'm going to select 192.168.0.2, which is the default IP address in this meter for our demonstration. And I'm going to use a slash 23, which is the virtual telnet port also in the IP addressing. Next, we have password 1 and password 2. For this case, I'm going to use our default passwords of Otter for level 1. And then I'm going to select on my con connection type TCP IP. That means it's going to talk over our Ethernet communications channel. Next, I'm going to click Save, save those parameters. And now I'm going to begin my channel selection. The first channel I had on this 735 meter was kilowatt hours delivered. So I simply type in anything I want in the meter serial number field you see here. I select our proper unit of measure. In this case, I want kilo units, so I'll select a value of 1. Next, I'll go to our multipliers and readings file, and I'll simply select 1 for my meter multiplier and my pulse multiplier. Now, why would I select the value of 1? Well, the SEL 735 meter takes into account your CT and PT, or your instrument transformer ratios, and does the multiplication for you. So everything coming out of the load profile recorder for MV90 is already in kilowatt hours, kilo and primary units for you. We can also do mega in the MV90 master file. Next, I'll select our standards checks, and I'll do the dual method and the pulse multiplier method. This gives me checks and balances in the master file for validation of data. Now I'll click Save, and I'll do the same thing for channels 2, 3, and 4. Channel 2, I have kilowatt hours received, and again, the proper unit of measure, and I can simply select Save at this point. For channel 3 and 4, I have KVAR hours received and delivered. Now my unit of measure changes here from 1 to a 3. And I'll click Save again, and now I'm ready for my last channel, and I'm going to type in KVARH. And again, my proper unit of measure is 3, and select Save. Now, as you can see here in my screen, that we already have our master file completely set up, and we're ready to give our SEL 735 meter a call. So I'll close the master file settings. I'll click on the telephone for communications, and I'll select my customer ID. In this case, it's Demo 735, and I'll select All Read for my first initial read. I'll click on Schedule and Go. Now I can pull up my XI COM window and view my connections. Now we're communicating with our meter that we expect to read all of our load data profile. 
back into our MV90. And as you can see, we've completed our first initial read. And we should see our, in our taskbar here, go to validation. And we're done. So you can see how easy and simple it is to set up your MV90 software for the SEL 735 meter. You're now ready to communicate. Thanks for watching. Thank you.